Okay, so uh, tell us where you are, please. I am at the cave, uh, property in the old Okay, so you're telling me you're not actually sitting in this fancy office with that fancy furniture. Uh, no, I can't really see any fancy furniture. And the fancy desk lamp. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, so to, to lift the secret, um, Anabas here is currently sitting in the geology building in uh, where we have uh, two connect cameras and she is currently being captured by those two. And then the video streams are compressed and sent across the street to the other building, to the IDA VR lab, where I'm sitting right now. And so we are putting it back together here and I'm sitting in front of a big screen TV where we are just showing the 3D video stream that's coming in and we are combining it with, in this case, a virtual model of an office that was uh, very graciously donated by Vital Environments from San Francisco. And the idea here is that we have essentially three-dimensional holographic video chat in real time. Why don't you say something? Uh, hello. Okay, there you go. I hope you guys heard that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, step across the table here and go a little bit closer. I apologize for the relatively poor video quality we have here. Excuse me for a sec. What was that? Oh, well, never mind. I'm just going to... Ah, okay. I forgot to press the button. Hang on a sec. Uh, that would help. Okay. So I'm going to just get you a lot closer. So the idea is then that by using head tracking on the display side, we can, I can move around the 3D video and the virtual object uh, just at the same time and just have it all put back together in the, right, uh, in the right space. Of course, I can also put the other person upside down, but we normally don't do that. So uh, one thing that is always very annoying about 2D video chat, at least for me, is the fact that you can't really establish eye lines. If one person looks at their video image, then they're not looking at the camera so the other side sees I'm looking at the feed. So with this 3D video thing, we can do that. So Anna Lucia, if you could do me a favor, just look at the camera right now. Okay, and just keep looking over there and look at the camera again. I can't see you right now. Oh, there you are. Okay, and just keep looking at the camera. Actually, uh, do me a favor and put on the 3D glasses right now because I think your tracker lost you a bit. Yeah. Okay, so now she has put on the 3D glasses so she can actually see what she's doing. So now please just keep looking at the camera. There you go. There you go. And just point at the camera if you would be so kind. And keep pointing. Okay, so what she's actually pointing at uh, is a virtual video camera, which is my actual video camera that I'm holding in the VR lab. So that video camera, or the position of it, is also sent into the cave, so Ana Lucia can see it where it actually is, and can therefore look at it and point at it. Okay, I think that uh, pretty much covers it. I just want to go around you a little bit, so that you can see what you look like from the other side. Uh, right now we have two connects which are almost facing each other, meaning we have pretty good coverage uh, of the front of the head and the sides, but then if I move all the way around, now we are looking at the other side of the office, then you see that there's no back to the head, which for video chat I think is, is perfectly fine. So we are going around again, could you wave please? Thank you very much. So we are going around again uh, to where we initially were and just uh, look at the camera again. Okay, very well. And I think that pretty much covers it.